Hi, it's Mare. I wanted to turn the camera on. Um, I was asked about how I make some of my fairy wings and I just wanted to give you a few ideas what you could do even if you're just putting fairy wings in a journal or using them on a fairy that you have created, um, whether it be paper, cloth, whatever. But first all, I'm just gonna ask if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button, leave me a thumbs up and a comment. I would really appreciate it. I am going to leave a great video about some fairy wings made with Angelina film. It's just something I found. I used to make some uh, many years ago and you can check out some of my fairies and what I've um, created either in my Etsy shop and the sold items. You'd have to scroll down for a while or on my Instagram you can scroll down and I've added some pictures of some fairies I made with some dried out pods of I believe it was Devil's Claw or something like that. I hate the name, but but anyway, it was um, just an experience. So, okay, so I'll give you some good ideas. Even if you, like I said, if you're just adding them to journal pages, we kind of want them as flat as possible. Uh, some of the materials that I like to use, and I can, I'm just going to share that with you. Hopefully, it'll be helpful to those interested. And before I'm asked about the, my little mini fairies, I'm just gonna tell you, I will put also put a link to a video on how to make some fairies, very easy. And you can just, you know, experiment. That's what I did. I put, and nothing is like, for me, I don't, that's why I don't like repeating, um, you know, exactly journals. And I ran across this in some of my fairy houses when I used to make those. I It's just not fun for me, you know, it, the art-wise, you know, in that view. I create in the moment. So that's when I say that I just wing it with these things. And that's what I do. So I'm not going to do a tutorial on fairies. I'm just going to tell you I use air dry clay you can use. You can use quick clay, which is... You know, you would use a heating gun and it heats up. Um, you can put a hole in that and just draw a face on it. I don't do anything exactly the same. I, I don't. And, um, wait, let me hit the, my light. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. And um, so, you can do that. I just literally set things in front of me and just have at it. Beads. You can use um, wool, yarn, just anything. The possibilities are just endless. So I hope you have fun doing that and creating something for yourself of your very own. And I'm sure you will. Okay, so I have this out because <laughs> I started doing the video and I had an issue. So it wasn't recording the way I wanted it to. So I'm just going to show you again, or I'm just going to show you that I use some of the Tim Holtz, not all the time, this is just one option, of these transparent wings. And they're really cool, and I usually trim off the excess, if you can see around the black line. I just go around and trim it, and I use some glossy accents. You can use triple thick, you can use whatever you want to to adhere to this. Um, I know everything else, like, I don't know, some, some mediums will stick fine to it, but I use some glossy accents in different sections. I've made my own little glitter. There's different glitter, maybe some, um, micro beads. I don't think there's micro beads in this one, but I use glass micro beads, um, sometimes and just different chunkies and just different whatever you're going, the look you're going for. Now, the good thing with these as well is I have a little wood burning tool. <laughs> so I like to create little holes in the fairy wings sometimes once I get all the, all the color and different things on that. So you'll see more of that. I am in the middle of creating or finishing up, I should say, three mini jour uh, journals or fairy journals with some bags that I've altered and thickened up. And um, I'm really liking the way it's turning out. So look for that video within a couple of days at the most. I'm really at the tail end. Then I'm going to get back to my bigger one. And when I do some things, I will do a craft with me with that. Um, I don't mind doing that, but literally I look through the pages a thousand times be, you know, by the end of it because you're just looking to see what speaks to you 
and how I, you know, go about doing things. So if I get into a project, I'll turn the camera on and uh, try to try to include you guys. So anyway, this is a good idea, I think, with these. Um, it's just a thin acetate, and there's some, you know, butterfly wings are always kind of cute on a fairy or on a page, on a fairy journal. I like little found wings, so these separate ones are super cool too, I think. And I just use those, but I've also used elements from the outdoors. I am very fortunate to live in a small home in the middle of the woods, like a mini forest, and uh, I get a lot of, a lot of stuff to inspire me all over. This year we get, we have, um, and I didn't see them last year, these really mini, what we called helicopters, the little seeds. And I just put glossy accents. I think I might've put some triple thick on this as well. Just to, uh, here, let me see if this is any better. Just to show it. Yeah, they're just little, and I, I added some little sparkles to them. Some are black, some are plain. And you can just add little things to them. So they'll be represented in the mini journals that I'm doing. Um, what else have I used? Oh, leaves. Now I'm going for the journals that I'm doing are very um, organic, I guess you could say. Very, um, my fairies are very integrated into the app, the their surroundings. So you think trees and even dirt, ferns, leaves, bark, those kind of things. So this, to me, I mean, even if I represent these in another way, that's fine. But if I, in my bigger journal especially, is going to be more organic. And just taking these and different leaves off of different stuff, you gather, gather some. I've got a lot of leaves that came with different, bushes and different things that you pick up maybe even skeleton leaves and they break easily but i like it like that i think that's cool and what else oh these from like christmas time or the holidays you know they tend to um, put some like pink poinsettias and different things out there is that gonna make it any better no nope. that's very very shadowy here, let me use the other side. This is going to be the wrapping to the, my mini journals. Yeah, that's a little better. So you can see, like, there's little seed beads on there and sparkles and glitter. And I like the look that, you know, brings it halfway. To even trace something like this on organza or, or burlap, you could just trace the outside part or, the, or this, right? Trace it on some cloth. That would look really cool. And put, you know, glossy accents or something that would, you know, a medium that would stick different things to. Here's that idea. And I have done these as well. Now I'm going to link um, an Etsy shop. I'm not affiliated or anything. I just like to give people credit. An Etsy shop um, that sells fairy wings in a digital. And specifically for printing them, she gives you the paper option. And if you're going to print them on acetate or vellum. Vellum would be a nice little kind of frosty kind of look. Right, aren't those beautiful? And she and she's got many, many, many options. Like I really like. Yeah, sorry, I'm having a hard time with this. One of my cloths. See, look at all that color. Oh, that's just great. And I like this. I like the double wings a lot. Look at all that color on there. So what you can do, and what I have done is take, take something like that, right? Here's a wing. Let me set this aside. And do it like I, I do the Tim Holtz ones. So take some little glossy accents. Right, I'm just gonna, and I probably would do both sides, just fill in a section 
with glossy accents. And I like these little needle bottles because you can use it to move it around. But if you didn't have that, you could also just take a toothpick and just get that in that section. And then come back around here with some of your some of your glitter and you can even use stickles on these which would work really well so whatever color you're using there's that i have a more green and just fill in fill in my spots and i would probably do like the whole top section or something and then brush it off and then when you're done when it's done drying you just cut around it and just look. Look at how pretty that would be. And it's, you know, a great, great, you know, a great texture for fairy wings, I think. Very cute. Oh, and I don't think I showed this. These. So you can take a thin, whatever, you know, I got a lot of different fabrics. And if you could take some ribbon maybe ribbon that you don't really use a lot and just trace around one of your wing things and it gives it like a floppy, a floppy wing feel to it, right? And I just put a bunch of different chunky things on there. That's another idea. And here's some more different leaves and different things. So. If you take that, oh, you can even use like different Nuvo drops or if you have the 3D drops of any kind, add some texture, add some things on it. And I would probably, see sometimes that gets, that gets a little plugged like everything when you don't put the lid on it. So let me see, is that gonna work? No, it's not. Why, always when you get on camera, huh? Anyway, squeeze a little bit out, like so. Just to add a little something to it. And if I use the green, I like to make sure that some of the little so even though my little mini journals are, you know, more grungy, yes, grungy fairies, I know. Um, but that's what I like. I like thing. I like some fairies. I, I've done the whimsical kind too, but I like the, some of the fairies that are, you know, more organic and stuff. But I still have to add a little bling in there from time to time. <laughs> and I really like how that ended up looking for just a leaf detail. It can be cut down to any size you want, cut in the shape that you like. Okay, one last, one last idea. And that is what I used to use quite often. And I haven't really practiced that much. I'm going to put the, a video showing you how to um, make some wings. There's some oh, amazing artists out there that make dragon wings and and uh, there's, there's the eBay lady that I get it from. I believe she uses that name in each description. So you can look that up. It's M-O-R-E-Z, M-O-R-E. So I think any version of that should pull up her stuff, this Angelina film. And it's amazing. And it's like heat activated and it'll tighten up against wire and you can put holes in it and everything else. And I'll show you briefly. Um, I've done the video a couple times, so let me just briefly show you. Now, I haven't practiced in a while, but get your iron out, okay? And get a piece of your film, whatever, if you end up getting some of this, because it is really, really fun to play with. So you get a piece of this out. I have some jewelry making supplies and you know tools and that always helps. Let me see, where am I at? $14.50, okay, gotta be quick. So you put this down 
Let me find, okay. So this helps. These are wire straighteners. You want to get it as flat as you can up against your, so this you just hold on tight and slide. And it makes it pretty straight. And you can put pieces down. Let me get my, let me get my piece. So I'll put my head in the camera of what I showed earlier. So you can do separate sticks, which one of the videos I'm gonna be posting in there, she did three, which she makes it look so easy. <laughs> it's a little more difficult, but I mean, it's worth it if you just wanna play with this stuff and think of the possibilities. I've used this for fairy doors, fairy windows. It's great for dragons which eventually I will get around to making a dragon and a unicorn one, because I love that kind of stuff. Sorry if you can't see it very well. So you put your sticks down, or just make these circles. Well, it's harder with this, which I found is um, keeping it flat enough. You know, my fairies, I don't want it too 3D, you know, too much of a 3D. So you put your wires down as flat as you can get them, okay? So you can double them up like that. You can put sticks, like I did here, just two sticks, twirl it around, attach it at the bottom. So in the between here is not gonna be anything but the Angelina film, if you get what I mean. So you put these down like this, put a piece on top of there, put your cloth, I would do a thin, like a tea towel side, you know, thickness. Put that down, put a hot iron there, no steam. And you'll see it in the video if you take a look at it, which I really encourage you to do. And it comes out like this. And then you just use your, your heat gun, or she uses a candle, which I used to do for my larger ones. Again, I never really made them perfect sorry about the noise and it just shrinks you know it shrink wraps around your wire because when you cut them out you know i press 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 and lift it up and look and see if it's you know close if there's a little area that hasn't quite attached itself to it um you know you just put your put your um put your iron back on there Okay, and um, that's what they look like. I think they're really, they're really kind of cute, I think. I, I adore this. I, I just really like that. You can put holes in it. You know, I just caution, this is not for, you know, children, obviously. But that's why I'm not showing it to. I just don't want to put candles and stuff in my videos. So, anyway, that's another, another idea. I want you to have fun. You know, create as you do. I hope I encourage, you know, encourage you to get out there and just create wings as, you know, the way that you want to do them. And I'm sure you'll come up with some great ideas. And I hope this gave you some inspiration. Have a great day, guys, and look for that video. I believe it'll be tomorrow or the next day of my little journal, fairy journal and bag sets. Have a great day. Thanks.